Hey everybody! <laughs> Did you know I had a Halloween video this week? It's gonna go down as my most hated video ever. I've already got like 150 thumbs down on it, which is kind of amusing. But I'm gonna play up that point. I'm really trying to sell it as my most hated controversial. It's controversial video. I want people to see what all the fuss is about. I do a Halloween video every year. It's just a funny, fun thing I do. I like Halloween. This is the first year that People have gotten cranky about it. They're just cranky. Oh, I'm sorry. But you know what the funniest thing is? Is that these guys are probably these guys who just love woodworking porn. These guys who constantly post pictures of their woodworking injuries. They love showing bloody fingers and stumps and nubs. There was just one this past week. It was obviously so gratuitous. That's real blood. You know what this is? It's fake blood. This is a fake finger. You go and watch wood porn. Once a year, I'll make a Halloween video. <laughs> I really think most of the people who complain are people who haven't subscribed to my channel very long. They're probably new subscribers and they probably don't realize that I've done this a lot of times before and they, they don't really understand the concept of my channel, which is just woodworking for fun. And for me, part of having fun is making fun videos. They wanna see a pair of hands putting something together and then complain about that. You know what the second most complained about video I ever had was when I made wood jewelry. <laughs> wood jewelry. But if you ever want to make woodworking videos and have people just love them, they'll love every single one, is do nothing but shop projects. There's a lot of guys who just like to play house in their in their workshops and so they doll it up with all sorts of little jigs and they tweak their tools and they make little things for their shops and they're just so cute and adorable but they never really actually make any things. But I really shouldn't complain because there were a lot of people who left a really lot of nice comments about that video. I think most people got it. I just wanted to throw in as many gags as I could and a lot of kind of woodworking inside joke kind of things I think a lot of woodworkers would get. Even though the most popular gag in there was the Miley Cyrus uh, <laughs> bit, which was really kind of gross. Oh, and the hot dog thing, the, the hot dog in my stop saw, saw stop, saw stop, saw. You know what was gross is I had hot dog stuff in my table saw down in there and I had to clean it all out. <laughs> but it was fun kind of throwing those hot dogs in there. My favorite joke in that was actually at the very beginning when I mentioned the History Channel. <laughs> Remember when History Channel used to show good stuff about, well, history? <laughs> the, that show, my zombie show, was something the History Channel would probably show today. <laughs> I actually thought Pinterest people would get more angry at me than anything for making the mason jar crack. <laughs> Anybody who spends a lot of time on Pinterest in the DIY section, you'll notice how much stuff there is you can you can make with mason jars. People love mason jars and they make like chandeliers out of mason jars. <laughs> And I also thought it was very funny to have a zombie pulling the wood off the window because in zombie movies you always see people boarding up the window. So my thought was that the, the zombie was me. I was wearing my own my own shirt and it, uh, so I had already died. But I still wanted to do some woodworking so I wanted to protect my... See, there was a project in that video. I, I made that little helmet to protect... you got to protect your brains if you're a zombie, you know, because one shot will do it. Although I don't know if the wood would really stop a bullet. <laughs> Maybe an axe or something. It might slow somebody down give me time to bite them. We did see a zombie movie this past week. We saw World War Z. Have you guys seen World War Z? I was so looking forward to that movie and I, I couldn't get into it. I mean, I watched the whole thing, but it just, to me, it was like, it's the Brad Pitt movie. I think every single shot was of Brad Pitt mugging. He's one of those actors that whenever I see him, it's hard for me to get into his character because all I see is just Brad Pitt. It was more of an action film, I guess, than anything, but there was just so many kind of, to me, real plot holes. Like how in the world did they build an entire wall around Israel? I know a lot of people like World War Z, but I have plenty of zombie films that I prefer. I like Dawn of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead, the remake of it. Both of those are such good movies. Remakes that I actually prefer are Halloween, both Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. The new Rob Zombie versions he made a few years ago are really, really good. And I actually prefer those to the original. Night of the Living Dead, classic zombie film. Oh, and Day of the Dead, too. That's where I got my opening shot from yesterday's video. The, the door going up and then the zombie coming out. That was from Day of the Dead. I, I ripped it off from there. But my all-time favorite scary movie by far is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I just love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. To me, it is so just realistic and just low budget kind of shooting and the set pieces are just 
creepy looking. And since it's October, we've been watching a lot of horror movies and we just saw The Cabin in the Woods. It's sort of like Scream in a way. It kind of pokes fun at its own genre, but it has so many fun surprises in it. It's just one of those movies that just is kind of so over, it's Joss Whedon. If you guys like Joss Whedon, if you saw, you know, Firefly or Dr. Horrible, there's a good musical. He just did a Much Ado About Nothing, which I think we're gonna watch tonight. I'm really looking forward to that one. And last night we saw, I think, the creepiest movie I've seen in a long time. It's called Sinister and it's with Ethan Hawke. It just came out a couple years ago, maybe last year or something. It's just got some of the most suspenseful, creepiest imagery in it, I guess you would call it, that kind of just leaves you a little unsettled. Very good film. So those are my Halloween movie recommendations. I'd love to hear what you guys like. What are some of your favorite scary movies? You can just post them down in the comments. I think that would be kind of fun. I'm always on the lookout for a good, scary movie. Oh, and I want to thank everybody for all of your comments on my last Mere Minutes when I was asking you about your thoughts on CNC woodworking, and I thought it was a good discussion in there. There's a lot of good points that I really hadn't thought about. Uh, technology itself does not define the woodworker, and I, I think that CNC is fine. I can see a lot of great uses for CNC. I think anybody who can just make something, it doesn't matter what you can make, as long as you can make something, you're a valuable addition to society, and how you make it doesn't make any difference. So you realize next Friday is November. That means Christmas is gonna be here like that. And if you're not careful, Christmas will come up from behind you and bite you on the ass. It can easily do that. So start thinking about Christmas gifts now if you're gonna build some stuff. Let me know what kind of Christmas projects you guys have planned. I'd love to hear those. I'm not really completely sure what all I'm gonna make yet, but we'll figure we'll figure it out as we go along. You notice I still haven't set up my dust deputy that Mark Hack sent me. Sorry, Mark, I just haven't had time to do it. But I plan on doing that this week, and it kind of gave me an idea for a video probably within the next week or so. It's gonna be a shop project <laughs> video. Now that I just dissed all the shop project <laughs> people. I like shop projects, just not all the time. But anyways, what I wanna do is, I thought maybe I would spend, can you hear me from way over here? <laughs> I thought I would take one video to cover a bunch of stuff that I've been meaning to do in my shop, like put this together, that could be one little part of the video. I actually wanna do something with this wall here. I'd like to figure out a way of hanging these jigs on the wall for one thing, uh, maybe this way and not this way. If they're all against the wall this way, they take up too much space. And one of the things I was thinking about doing was, was hanging, actually hanging some chains from the rafters. With, I could hook these two and Maybe I could even put them this way and I could have them come out this way and I would just switch them out. So I don't know, something like that. I haven't figured that out yet. One of the things I'd like to do is paint these OSB walls white. And the only reason for that is because I think it would make my videos a lot brighter and easier for me to color correct. And I'd like to make a little stand for my spindle sander too. So anyways, I thought it would be kind of a fun video to just take a video and try to get some stuff done in my shop that I just can't get to because I'm making videos. <laughs> well, that's all I got for now. I wanna thank you all for continuing to watch my videos, even the ones that you don't particularly care for. Right now I gotta go find some videos I don't like and issue formal complaints in the comment section, and then I'm gonna unsubscribe. Well, at least I'll just say that.